everybody. Welcome in once again to another edition of Inside the Lion's Den. I am joined by Lucy Wallacher today, who just got named the South Atlantic Conference AstroTurf Track Athlete of the Week. And first off, Lucy, congratulations on the honor. And uh, I know you're a very busy young lady, that's for sure, uh, coming out of the indoor season, immediately going into the outdoor season. But a big congr congrats on the recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, you took uh, first place in the heptathlon at the Charlotte 49ers Classic. Um, you also set a new school record in the high jump at 1.79. So a big congrats on that as well. Uh, but can you talk about the last couple of weeks for you? Because I know it went from uh, being up in uh, being up north uh, for the championship for indoor. And then it seemed as if the next day you were on the track again outdoors. Uh, so what's that kind of been like for you? Uh, yeah, it's been very chaotic. It's been great. We had, um, so we obviously had our indoor conference championships at the sort of three weeks ago, I think now, um, over the weekend. And then the following week, we traveled to Kansas for NCAAs, uh, which is where I did the high jump. Um, yeah. And then you're right, we came back. So the national championships was over spring break. And then we came back. And then that following weekend, I was doing the heptathlon in uh at the 49 no classic <laughs> no recovery um exactly but yeah so it's been busy but it's been good well you know talking about that kind of whirlwind ride you also did it with a new head coach uh, as well and of course i know talking to coach krolik uh when he first came in i had talked to him literally right before opening weekend of indoor season and of course he had to go through and it's not like you guys have a small track team so he had to go through and get to know everybody but uh can you talk a little bit about what it's been like having him here uh, as your head coach and of course uh, you guys have obviously excelled largely because of your own efforts but i imagine the coaching did a little bit too yeah no they did so we um it was obviously a bit of a busy start. So like you said, we had the new coaches come in um, and all the athletes, we had a lot of new athletes come in in the fall and then they were just meeting the new coach for the first time, just like we were. Sure. Um, so I feel like everyone settled in pretty quickly, which was obviously great. Um, and we kind of went straight into it. We had a, our first meet about two weeks into the semester, mm -hmm. um, which actually I think is great because it kind of just threw us in at the deep end. Um, yeah. So and then we were able to develop relationships with our coaches from there. Um, we also have a new coach for the sprints and jumps, which is the group that I'm with. Um, and he's been great too. So there's been a lot going on, obviously changing coaching styles, times, um, and the way that we run things at the meets. But I think it's been really good. And I think everyone's really enjoying it. And I certainly am. Um, I really like the new coaches. And yeah, both Coach Krolik and Dragon, our coach has been great. Well, you know, looking back at your time with this program, of course, uh, now have been here for a couple of years and a very successful program, to say the least, over these last few seasons. What is it that stands out to you that you think has been the biggest keys to the success of this program, both on the track and, of course, in the field events as well? Um, I think that's quite a difficult question. Like you said, a lot of things have happened. Um, so this is now my fourth year. I think... Mm -hmm. For me, this is going to sound very cliche, but I think for me, the main thing is just trusting the process. I feel like in track, especially, um, there's always a lot of work to be done. Mm. There's just, I mean, whether it's speed, strength, technical, there's a lot of aspects to it. Um, so my first couple of years here were difficult. I was had a lot of general conditioning to develop. And then once you develop that, I've now been able to work on a lot more technical stuff more recently. Um, and I think that's what's made the biggest difference to me, just allowing time to develop and improve. I think it's Fair quite enough. easy to just expect good results straight off the bat. And that's obviously not going to happen. Um, well, so that's been a big part of it. And also our team is great. We have a lot of, a lot of international students on our team, especially in our group. Yeah. Um, and so there's a lot of people with, who come in having learned different skills being taught obviously differently by different coaches from all over the world. Sure. And so I feel like the combination of coaching and experience and athletes input as well has made a big difference. I think well, that's really good. You know, you mentioned something there, and that is the international flavor of this team. Of course, you yourself uh, coming from England, um, but it's it seems to be you throw a finger on a map somewhere and there's probably somebody on the team uh, from there. But, you know, what is it that stood out to you about that in terms of um, having all of those different people, all of those different personalities, backgrounds and everything that's helped you kind of develop, not just on the track, but of course, as a, as a person off the track? Um. 
Well, first of all, I think it's amazing to have friends from all over the world. Mm -hmm. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Not yeah, something everybody um, can claim, that's for sure. No, exactly. So that's been great. It's been a great experience. Um, I think meeting people, like I said, just obviously, as I said, with track, like it helps with learning mm -hmm. uh, skills and things, but also like socially, I think it's great. Um, people coming from very different backgrounds, um, whether it's because they're from Eastern Europe or Sure. Kentucky or <laughs> wherever they're from. Um, I like I like the mixture nice. you had there. That's uh, <laughs> that's one place to another. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, so that's been really nice. Um, and just meeting people and then obviously having connections as well, especially mm. for the academic side of it. I know this is obviously based on athletics, but um, academically it's really good too. You have connections sure. from everywhere that you can imagine. Um, and yeah, I think that's really nice. Well, I mean, hey, listen, I realize this is an athletics uh, interview, but at the same time, you're a student athlete. So student always yes. comes first. And I always like to hear in terms of the way you excel both on the on the field, court, whatever sport you play, uh, and also in the classroom, because I know that's obviously a crucial part about being at this Queens program. So um, Lucy, thank you so much for carving some time out and talking with us. Like I say, I know you're extremely busy. Uh, you guys are back in action again coming up this weekend, but um, go out, enjoy. Best of luck for the rest of the season. We'll, of course, be following along with you uh, and uh, heading on into the NCAAs as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. My pleasure. All right. That'll do it for another Inside the Lions Den right here on the Queen Sports Network. Make sure you come back and join us here each and every time on YouTube, across the social media platforms, at Queen Athletics and at QU Sports Network on Twitter. Go out and enjoy the rest of your day, folks. And as always, go Royals.